episode two let's continue all right all right let's go Disclaimer, this video is only based on my personal research. I might miss some details and it's possible to have discrepancies, but I did my best to get as much accurate information as possible. So enjoy. Just a quick correction to episode one. Josh didn't only recruit Ken, but also Justin. Josh told Justin about the workshop, which gave him the opportunity to become a show BT trainee. Not a big- Bro, what the hell? Josh was, Josh was really like putting everybody, he was putting everyone on, man. Like without Josh, we wouldn't have Ken and Justin. Out of the way, let's get into the video. Damn. Get in the zone. Everyone has that one thing that makes them feel good about themselves. Like they're in control. Everything else could be going completely haywire. Ano ba yan, Stan? Ano yung ayos mo yan? Talagang style yan. Like the world is completely falling apart around you. Sana makita ng tao kung gano'n kami naghihirap. Oh when you're no! Damn, bro. I'm gonna be heat up. But when you're doing that one thing, life is wonderful. And that makes everything worth it. I just. Despite being the, the leader of the group, right? And having this persona of leading the others. He, you can just see, man. He, uh, he, uh, he is very soft when it comes to, like, you know, you know what I mean? Monteroshi, Kamsa Gelbagada Asimida. Imshin in Gayo. Anyo, Imshin Animida. Then why do I feel with lady? Mrs. Montero, you are. Thank you, Maya. Thank you so much. Maya in UK. Damn, thank you. HIV positive. What? You are. I feel with lady. Mrs. Montero, you are HIV positive. Addie Hong. She could have easily become a popular celebrity in the Philippines. Back in Korea, she was a well-established theater actress, a vocal, dance, and beauty coach, a one-woman show. But instead, she chose to use her experience to guide and nurture the boys to reach their highest potential. Along with Tatang Robin, she was also one of the main reasons why SB19 is where they are now. She is popularly known as Miss Hongganda and we will see her often in this video. Before SB19's debut, they tried to establish an online presence. So on May 16, 2018, they created their Facebook page. This could possibly be the unofficial date they were formed. Ken is so beautiful, man. Look at Ken. He's so beautiful. They all are, but they started posting song covers like these. Send me your location. Let's focus on communicating this. I just need the time and place to come through. Yeah. I hope he buys you flowers. Ooh. I hope he holds your hand. Damn. And dance covers like these. Leave with it. Yeah, with it. Yeah, don't fall now. Stab with it. Ken has, you know, that he has his, his, he has that devilish, you know, 
hot, deep kind of voice. And then Stel is, Stel's voice is also so beautiful, but in a different way, right? He sounds, he has that angelic type of voice. They became more active in social media while maintaining their regular performances in small events. They did this until it was almost time for their debut. We have good news for you guys. Say after the very, very long wait, finally, yes, finally, we will be releasing our debut single entitled Tia Lua! October 26, 2018. SB19 finally debuted with their ballad single called Tila Luha. But did you know? Yeah, that was that was one of the visual bars in the song. Uh, which song was it? God damn. Where they had the dates. You know the song where they had the dates on. Uh, that was one of the dates that they showed. The debut of the song. Bazinga. Bazinga. Yes. yes. You know that it wasn't the only song that they had at the time? They also had Love Goes, but they chose to Damn. debut with Dila Luha to capture the hearts of the Filipino people because the lyrics are in Tagalog. They then started promoting their debut song in every way they could think of. November 17, 2018 marked SB19's first ever live stream to promote their debut single. Uh, Magsimula natin ang first SB Talent Camp Facebook Live! Oh. Awesome. Oh. Cute man, three viewers. <laughs> you can just just by looking at, uh, at them in this in this interview, you can tell that Ken Ken is so introverted, man. He's so introverted. And like all the others, at least they are laughing and smiling. Ken is just there, man. You know, you can tell he felt comfortable in like social. Uh, like just uh, with being social, you know, with people he he doesn't know that well. <laughs> uh, let's wait for ten, Alan. Despite the very few viewers, they went all out to entertain them. Yarubun, Shannon, Amu, Vegu, Bio. This is sick. Height is already good. Height is already good. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ah, <laughs> ah the Rizzler, the Rizzler, Dale, Josh the Rizzler. Sizo, ah, sa wakas, dumating na rin ang oras na akong pinakahihintay matagal-tagal na rin nagsaray. Sige lang, sige, hami pa, para bang wala pa ang angabang na darang mabigay mo na. Damn. It just it makes me sad. I don't know, like this is supposed to be wholesome and it is wholesome to me, but it also makes me sad to think three viewers, man, and they were still so dedicated and so thankful. And you know this reflects in, in their personalities even today, man. Like this is why they are so humble, right? They have because they've always been the same. They have always been the same, man. From having three viewers and sitting there and uh, entertaining three viewers, they have always been humble, man. Always. I'm thinking, imagine those three viewers that were in this live stream back then. And now those three viewers looking at these guys now. Damn, man. I mean, that's pretty special, man. Imagine being there from the very beginning of SB19. Backflipper, 
The backflipper of the group, yes. <laughs> Those three viewers must be proud what they have achieved now. Yeah, man. They they must be over the moon. And they, yeah, man, that's crazy. That is just crazy. <laughs> yep, they did all that in front of just a little over 10 viewers. Uh, you can still watch the whole live stream to this day on their official Facebook. Oh, damn. Book page. They also perform in schools, malls, nursing homes, and even... I think fasting makes me more emotional. I don't know. There's something. There's something, man. I just... I'm not usually like this, but when it comes to... When it comes to these guys, I swear to God, I swear to God, I don't know. I just get emotional so fast, man. Orphanages, but their debut only received a lukewarm reception. The stream count didn't move as fast as they have hoped for. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. But their grind continued. After the disappointing debut, they started preparing for a comeback. Uh, today, nandito kami sa recording studio. Um, Nag-record kami ng kanta namin. Ito mismo yung parang kwento ng SP19. Yung lyrics mismo ng song namin is about pangarap ng SP19. Parang nagsimula yung lahat. Ito po talaga yung kantang gugulat sa lahat. They collaborated with a critically acclaimed Korean producer, Oh Won Lee, who's behind the success of TVXQ and Stray Kids. Pablo, with the help of the boys, wrote the song as they began to enter the go up era they started practicing their go up dance routine which was intricately choreographed by Stell and Ken they were required to practice 30 times daily until the re choreo oh choreographed by uh, Ken as well damn Ken okay they started practicing their go up dance routine which was intricately choreographed by Stell and Ken they were required to practice 30 times daily until they reach 1000 reps Ken Bring in with him the experience uh, from Ami Amigo 7. <laughs> His Amigo 7 group. And boy, they did it. They were even challenged to perform the dance routine at double speed. Yep, that was not Damn. even in fast forward. Now that they have reached the quota, it was time for them to shoot the music video. Thank you for, for everyone subscribing. July 19, 2019. SB19 dropped their Go Up music video. Expectations were higher because this was the song that showcased their singing, dancing, and songwriting skills. But for some reason, it has also met a lukewarm reception. They then started promoting the song using the methods they know. They even reacted to their own music video. <laughs> I like how much fun they're having with it. They're laughing at each other. <laughs> but none of their efforts made a significant impact after that you would think that it was oh the damn elsa mo thank you elsa thank you thank you so much biggest setback but not until august 17 2019 this was when the goa press conference happened this was supposed to be an effort for them to establish a presence in the media world they were interviewed by professional journalists, but instead of receiving a warm welcome, most of what they got was straight up disrespect. Pero kanina pa ako ba? Ano ba yan, Stella? Ano ba yung ayos mo yan? Talagang style yan, o? Ang ginag niya ako, Stella. Yung style ko po ba o yung make ko siya? Ah, kasi po, clear po po yung make ko po, Stella. Kasi po gali po siya, yung tunay ko po is Stella Bester po. Ako, Stella Bester. So, lahat kayo, 
What the fuck is wrong with people? What? Bro, this just, it makes me so fucking, I don't know, man. It just makes me angry, bro. Uh, the thing is, man, when I get angry, I get tears, man. I don't know if you guys can see it. My eyes get teary when I get when I get frustrated. Hindi kayo na ba pahala dun sa tunog nyo na hindi kayo pinipiko kundi po hindi yan? Ah, hindi po kami na babater kasi po sa tuwan. Kasi ako pahater na po. Pero pa, pero pa kayo hindi po. Bro, who the fuck are you? Nobody cares who you are. Because I am bothered? Go be bothered then, you fucking idiot. Nobody cares. You're some journalist that, that didn't even show your face because you don't matter. Oh, man. <laughs> Despite all the judge. You know, you know what? You know what? <laughs> oh my god. You know what bothers me uh, the most? The fact that these journalists and these people criticizing them, they themselves are Philippi from the Philippines. These guys are your own people trying to trying to make it in the industry. How can you go against your own people like this? That's what bothers me. I don't understand, man. Like, judgment. They handled the interview professionally. As the event concluded, the boys broke down to tears backstage and comforted each other. No. <laughs> no way, man. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Fuck those journalists, man. Fuck those people, man. Perhaps they're just human beings, and the thick skin they develop all throughout those years can only take so much punishment, especially when it went straight to their hearts. They all broke down. This made them question themselves if they were still doing the right thing. It casted so much doubt that it made them all decide to call it quits. Everyone left, except Stell. He received the most hate, but he was the one left standing. Perhaps he was a good example of someone who has entered the zone. Someone who managed to tap into the altered state of consciousness where time disappears and he becomes so focused that not even judgment could stop him from doing what he loves. 
if you watch that whole interview, it'll make your blood. I don't think I can watch that whole interview, man. My blood is boiling already, man. Uh, huge respect to Stell. Yeah, man. Honestly, man. What a what a guy, bro. Just what a person he is, man. I don't. What a person, man. But he knew for a fact that he can never do it alone. And there he was, alone. But only for a moment. Josh had a realization to not give up because people have not seen everything yet. This prompted the other members to return and witness their lives change in just one fateful day when their go up dance practice got uploaded on YouTube on September yes. 2, 2019. <laughs> It quickly went viral, which opened a lot of doors for SB19 to have TV guestings and live performances. Ah, may group hug? Ah, okay. Ah, sige. Oh, dyan lang kayo. Ang galing namin! Introduce yourself. Get in the zone! Break! Hi, we are SB19! My name is Spike Spiceketa. I am the wittiest of abs <laughs> As the world started to notice them, their YouTube channel grew exponentially. Their dance practice video reached 1 million views in just a week, then 2 million a month later. Wait a minute, who's Arum? November 2, 2019. So for the final announcement of the fandom name, 3, 2, 1! Ta-da! Damn! Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, when was this? November 2, 2019. 2019. November November 2nd, 2019. That's when they announced the uh, the official name for you oh, guys. For the Damn. Announcement of the fandom name. Three, two, one. Ta -da! This is the uh, same reaction every 18 has. <laughs> So if there's no 18, then also there's no SB19. Yes. Damn. Kasi kumbaga, siyempre, 18 muna magrating. 17, 18, 19. Pag wala 18, hindi makakarating sa 19. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice, man. That is a bar. <laughs> That's a bar. That in itself is a bar. Even eight, even the, the name of the fan base is a bar. Because without 18, <laughs> yeah, Pablo's wordplay. Without 18, you can't get to 19. Ah, oh, man. Come on, guys. Another meaning. Another meaning. So if you're going to read this 18, it could also be read as 18. So all the sex oh. all the lahat ng natatamo natin, yung ating to, ours. 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 Everyone. Damn. Damn. It's a double entendre. <laughs> it's not a single bar. It's a double entendre, man. 18 can also be read as 18. And that means ours. So he, he's trying to say that we are all in this together, right? This is not just because of us, the members. You guys are with us. Everything that we achieve, we have done it together. Problems, everything, we will, we will share together. Ating yan, lalaban tayo, kaya natin yan na. Lastly, uh, gusto talaga namin special mention yung or sa lahat lahat. Kasi sa totoo lang, um, talagang sila yung unang 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 sumuporta sa amin kung hindi pa nila wala pang nakakilala sa amin sa grupo namin kaya thankful kami kaya nakahiwala yan eight ibig sabihin yan oro oh <laughs> bro how did they think of so many things for a single name 
Wow. This is not even a double entendre. This is a triple now. Autumn is the first 18. They are the first 18. The first uh, kind of uh, fan base that, that supported them, right? God damn. <laughs> Oh, this guy is funny, man. <laughs> what are these reactions, bro? <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is when 18 was born. And their song was also called Go Up, right? Or the dance. Was it a song or a dance? But it was called Go Up. And here, uh, here Pablo says that we all together will go up. That was nice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is when 18 was born. Song. So what does it mean to be in the zone? Was it really only Stell that entered it? If you think about it, even before the other members decided to quit, they were already done with the dance practice. That alone made the press conference irrelevant. It didn't even matter that it happened. It Fuck that press conference. Fuck that press conference, man. I swear to God, I don't know how they kept their cool. I swear, I don't know, man. I would take that microphone and I would start cussing, bro. I would cuss them out. Turned out that actually all of them. And then I would throw the microphone at the journalist. Have always been in the zone. Being in the zone is what allowed them to defy all the odds. It was the zone that allowed a five foot man in the NBA. It was the zone that allowed a man living in the streets to rise up and become a billionaire. It was the zone that took an idea from someone's head to the moon. It was the zone that won wars and lack of it had lost. It is the zone that separates their ideas and dreams from a materialistic reality. Manny, Efren, Catriona, SB19. What do they have in common? Bro, I was... I, I really... This episode just made me angry, man. But at the same time, it made me happy. Because of how how successful they they became it is just so satisfying to think about how how that how well they went up and they actually made it cuz it's just satisfying to think that they uh, proved all those c words uh wrong i would but the thing is like i would be really mad in, uh, during the press conference and I would throw the microphone at them but then when I went backstage <laughs> I would also cry with the rest of them <laughs> oh thank you to chick uh, Jonah says thank you so much Ellie all right listen guys I've I have seen so many comments uh, where you guys thank us under my videos you guys always say thank you thank you for thank you for reacting to sb19 thank you for reacting to the philippines i'm not doing i'm not trying to do you guys e -E. a favor like and share res best vids love you all thank you to chick i'm not this is not me or donnie doing you guys a favor by by supporting sb19 by reacting to sb19 uh by defending uh, the Philippines and stuff like that. This is not us doing you guys a favor. I don't want you guys to thank us. I'm doing this. We are doing this because we genuinely enjoy watching stuff with you guys. All right. I genuinely love knowing about these guys. I want to know about them. I want them to do well, man. This is, 
I don't want you guys to feel like I am doing you guys a favor by doing this. Because that's not, that's not it. I'm doing this because we are all hanging together, right? And we're having fun. And we enjoy doing it. Don't, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I really, in, uh, I'm really thankful for all the, for all the uh, nice comments. I, I'm just trying to say that don't, don't look at this as me doing you guys a favor because I react to SP19. That's not it. That's not why I'm doing it. That wasn't the thought. I'm just, I just want to do it. All right, I'm yapping too much, man. Yes, thank you, sis. Thank you. I thank you guys as well. This is mutual.